Humans have been manipulating natural selection for many centuries. They do this in order to make animals that have desirable characteristics, like cows that produce loads of milk. This is called selective breeding, and that's what we're learning about today. Selective breeding is the process by which humans breed animals and plants for particular genetic characteristics. There are four examples in the specification to learn. First, we've got disease resistance in crops, animals which produce more meat or milk, domestic dogs with gentle natures, and large or unusual flowers that will sell well. The first cases of selective breeding were thousands of years ago when humans first bred food crops from wild plants and they domesticated animals. To do selective breeding, there are a few stages. First of all, you must select the parents that have the desired characteristics. For example, maybe floppy-eared bunnies are more popular pets, so you would select two parents that have floppy ears. The second step is to then breed them together. They will produce lots of offspring, some of which will have the floppy ears. This is because the allele for the characteristic is not always passed on to every offspring, just some. The third step is then to select the offspring that do have the desired characteristic, i.e. the floppy ears, and then you breed them together. You repeat this for many generations and eventually all of the offspring will have the desired characteristic. There are some problems with selective breeding. It can lead to inbreeding. This is when some breeds have an increased risk of disease or inheriting genetic defects. For example, pugs are known to have an increased risk of eye diseases and they often have breathing problems. Okay, pause the video, try these questions in your head or on some scrap paper and press play when you're ready to go through them. One, define selective breeding and give two examples from the spec. This is a process where humans breed plants and animals for desired characteristics. And now you need to give two examples. So there are disease resistance in crops, increased meat or milk production, dogs with gentle natures, and larger unusual flowers. Two, what is the impact of selective breeding on genetic variation in a population and why? Well, it greatly reduces genetic variation because, and this is the why part, only individuals with the desired characteristics are allowed to breed and pass their alleles on. All the other alleles in the population will eventually be lost. Three, what is the main ethical objection to selective breeding? Well, as you saw, it can cause defects and an increased risk of disease in some animals. How did you do? Learn how humans have further manipulated characteristics of living things in the genetic engineering video. And if you're finding this useful, please subscribe. Thanks and bye!